How is it going guys? Slippery Jim here. Welcome back to Sky Vaults. And in this episode, we're going to be pulling out all stops to try to get the last artifact for the artist artifact wall. I'm also going to be trying to uh, get to level 100, which uh, hopefully we can do, especially if we're running some really juicy uh, paradox vaults and stuff like that. Uh, we got a lot to get done today, but uh, before we get started on any of that, in the last episode, uh, I actually unlocked a secret transmog for a sword, which uh, we didn't check out. So yeah, we're going to go see what that looks like. I think it was called the Chain Sword, and I got that by using the uh, legendary uh, plus nine chaining axe uh, in the Void Vault that we did. So yeah, I want to see what that looks like, and um, then we are going to jump into the Paradox Vault, which is off cooldown right now. So yeah, let's take a look here at the uh, the Chain Sword. Uh, okay, that must be it there. Look at that! Wow, pretty sick looking. It's even got it's even got an animated uh, blade on it. Look at that. I almost expect it to make chainsaw noises. <laughs> That's super cool. I, I'm definitely going to be using that uh, for a while. <laughs> the other thing that I want to get done, guys, is I want to get our um, Soul Flame Embers cashed in so that we can uh, buy some stuff from the Ascension Forge. Um, we're currently on... What is it? 40? 40, 41? Um, so yeah, we will definitely be running a regular vault ladder as well. But to start with, we have our, um, Paradox Crystal here ready to go. Level 98. So we're going to jump in there. And, uh, trinket-wise, what I'm going to be running is the Golden Burger. And we've also got Valara's Petal uh, for a bit of regen. But this should give us 100% vault experience. So the goal is not just to complete the objective so we get that artifact... But uh, it's also that we can um, try and get as much experience as we can. So, uh, yeah, let's jump on in and uh, see how we go here in the Paradox Vault. Okay, let's head up north to start with, as we usually do. And uh, we're going to try to hit as many rooms as we possibly can, as many of the uh, Juicy Omega rooms. So we can get that sweet, sweet experience. We're going to complete both mine rooms obviously we need those gems for crafting omega pogs later on um and uh yeah i don't know about the dragon rooms we'll, we'll see how much time we've got we have got 48 minutes here <laughs> so we've got a substantial amount of time to work with uh we're definitely not going to have any problems getting the blessings obviously so you know um but we'll, we'll head up first to do the library I think, and um, get that done. I've got all of my red backpacks. I think I've got 10 of them at the moment, plus my, my uh, black backpack. I think I've got my, I better have my black backpack. Uh, all right, we go west here. Obviously, we have our scav as well. So yeah, we got plenty of storage, hopefully. I don't think we'll start overflowing, but um, you never know. <laughs> Bit of a detour.
And that is a lot of wooden chests up there. That's a crazy number of wooden chests. Let's keep going south. Almost certainly missed a few in the in the uh, moat area, but never mind. Let's kill these guys. Okay, down we go. Does definitely hit hard now. Massive stacks of coins, though. What the heck? That oh, he had a, he had a weird transmog helmet on. It looked like a looked like the Grim Reaper or something. I think it's like the Witch's transmog. Oh, this is so juicy though. creepers which is good because they tend to blow up all the coins Okay, let's hand in the stuff. What do we got here? This one. We got Wenda. Got 
This is our last one. Let's hand this in. That's a completion. Very nice. One million and fifty nine thousand eight hundred and ninety four experience. That is crazy. Six hundred and thirty seven chests looted. Nearly five and a half thousand ores mined as well. So that gets us to we nearly got to level one hundred just from that. That's crazy. Like I reckon one more vault will tip us over the edge to level one hundred. Okay. Let's go um, unload the loot. All right, it is loot time, guys. Let's check out what we got from that Paradox Vault. Uh, so looking in here, we got three trinkets. Pretty cool. We got 10 mod boxes here as well. 18,000 Vault Bronze, which is pretty outstanding. A uh, bit over 500 Vault Diamonds. 10,000 Carbon as well. Um, in terms of jewels, we got, uh, not jewels, gems, we got 44 echo gems and around 300-ish of each of the pog gems there as well. Um, 1,400 magic silk, nearly 2,000 driftwood there, nearly 1,000 black opal, um, and 36 key pieces. That's pretty uh, pretty crazy there. I only got 42 Larimer. <laughs> Uh, 300, actually we got 372 vault silver as well as the vault bronze, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, well we might just see which trinkets we got. Ah, we got another set of treasure goggles with 29 uses, that's actually really, really good. Um, in terms of the uh, unstackable red backpack loot, I'll show you guys the highlights here. So we got three Omega items including a magnet and a chest plate as well and a bunch of pretty good uh jewels as well these are the legendary ones we got nothing too crazy there but there were a lot of other really uh useful useful ones we'll uh chuck these in here actually there's no slots left we'll uh maybe do this <laughs> put those in there um and we'll put these in with our spare trinkets which we have a lot of at the moment okay so let's crack open our um completion crate here for the bar paradox crate and see what we get all right we have our artifact there um and it looks like just the regular sort of loot let's scoop this up um yeah, nothing too crazy here. Uh, let's just um, chuck this in here. We got three volt platinum there. Um, some kiwis, etc. Let's convert that into gold. 27 gold. Um, we did get an Omega helmet, so that's pretty awesome. Um, what else did we get here? Jewel wise, there's a couple of Okay-ish ones there. Um, and what else did we get? Anything good? Not really. But that's a pretty decent helmet there. That's not too bad at all. Plus 12 health on it already. Hmm. Very interesting. We will recycle the rest of this. Oh, that's got a legendary cooldown reduction on it. Hmm. We might hang on to that. <laughs> I don't know. It might come in handy. I've been keeping a few that have had some interesting legendaries on them, like this one with Poison 5. 68% knockback resist there as well. Uh, let's chuck this in here. Cool. So let's see what we get in the mod boxes, and then we'll um, roll our artifact. So here we go. Mod box time. Couple of create items. I'm not sure. I think that's a, dyna uh, a dynamo. Um, overgrowth seed. I'm not sure what that is. We're getting some mechanism items here. 
Okay, let's take a look at these. So, what is this? An advanced tier installer. <laughs> Fair enough. Speed upgrade. Lapidary dynamo. Storage bus. Overgrowth seed. 1k storage cell. Pretty cool. We'll put these in here. Chuck those in. And we'll put our overgrowth seed downstairs. I don't think these work on regular crops, but we'll stick it there. Okay, so we have our artifact, guys. <laughs> the the um, odds are astronomical of this one artifact rolling as the one, the one that we need, but we're going to give it a shot. Here we go. And it is not. Unsurprisingly, it is that one there. Cool. So, uh, that that leaves us with two, two um, artifacts here that are duplicates. What we might try to do, because we got an absolute ton of um, gems in that Paradox Vault, um, we might actually try to brute force the artifact that we need. So to do that, we're going to need a bunch of Omega Pogs. I don't want to go too crazy with these, but I, I think an Omega Pog is around 76 um, of each of the Pog gems. So we could potentially do like a good 10 plus, right? Let's make 10 to start with. Yeah, okay, 72, not 76 per Omega Pog. But we'll craft those up. And I think you just re-roll these in the... Um, I think it's in the... Is it in the stone cutter or the anvil? Something like that. <laughs> we'll figure it out. These are taking a while to craft up. It is a pretty long crafting process to make these. But um, let's have a look at this. So, artifacts. Anvil. It is an anvil. Okay. Good to know. Let's grab these out of here. So, we could make another, like, probably 20, but that would use almost all of our... <laughs> Gems up. Not that that would be a huge issue at this point, because we've got those two mine rooms in the Paradox Vault anyway. But uh, yeah, let's um, let's grab our anvil, and we'll take it over to the uh, artifact wall. And uh, we'll re-roll this and see if we can get super lucky here. So this is the one we want right here. Got our duplicate. Okay, let's roll this one. And it is not the one we want. Try again. That's the centerpiece, not the one we want either. Come on, baby. Give me what I want. <laughs> That's not it either. That's definitely not it. That's not it. We got five left here. Not it. This is a very expensive way to get the exact artifact you need, but at this point, I think it's worth giving it a go. Not having much luck here so far. Not it. Maybe this is our last one out of ten. Oh, that's not it either. Okay, we'll make 
We'll make five more. I don't want to go crazy with using up all my gems because you can't uncraft them once they're Omega <laughs> Pogs. <laughs> we'll get five going. I mean, I guess we could we could use them if, if we don't use them all for this, which we possibly will because the odds are very high, high of not getting the right one. But I guess we could use any leftover Omega Pogs um, for uh, the Prismatic tools in the future Let's grab these out of here all right we can re-roll it five more times here fingers crossed that's not it it shouldn't be able to re-roll as the one that it already is but I, I could be biased <laughs> Damn, we're not getting any uh, luck here, are we? That's not it. Not it. Okay, we're we're out of Omega Pogs again. Um, okay, you know what? We're going to craft up 10 of these. And that will be that. <laughs> That uh, drastically reduced our gem numbers. How many have we gone through? 15 so far. Let's just wait for these cropped up. There it is. Okay, 10 shots at getting the final artifact. Here we go. Not it. Also not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Come on, man. Oh, oh, this is it. We got it. We got it, guys. We got the last artifact. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, what was that? Uh... 21 Omega Pogs, if my count is correct. Oh, baby. Bam. It should do something special when you place the last one. I don't know, like fireworks or something. But, oh. Wait. Okay. Huh? Oh, it gave us the seal of the Herald. But... I don't think we can actually, I don't think it will let us go in until we're level 100. Um, it would have to be a level 100 crystal, right? I'm curious now. I'm, I'm not really prepared for this, but, oh yeah, see it's not going to let us. Not gonna let us do it. This has to be level 100. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, hang on to that, though. That's pretty awesome. So, the Herald is the uh, the final boss, guys. I can't believe... I can't believe we got... the final artifact. We got the artifact wall completed. That is absolute... awesomeness. Look at that. That is amazing. Amazing stuff. Damn, it's taken a while though. Level 99. Super, super awesome. So, yeah. What we have to do now is get the tiny little bit of XP that we need to get to uh, level 100 
I don't know how much we actually need, but uh, does it tell us anywhere? Statistics. I actually have a skill point I can spend. Um, smite. Have I not leveled this up to the max? I probably should have. I use this all the time. Let's go up another level on that. Interesting. <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, what I want to do next is we do want to get to level 100. That was the second of our two goals for this episode. So I also want to cash in my um, embers from the soul flame. I don't really feel the need to keep going with this just to see how far I can get with the Ascension. Like, I'm far more interested in buying stuff in the Ascension Forge. So, yeah, uh, we might just go in and deliberately fail. Uh, although, at the same time, I kind of want to get experience. So, there's a bit of a two-edged sword there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. You do get a fair bit of experience for a successful completion, right? But I think one more paradox will definitely tip us over the edge if we really need it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll deliberately not complete the objective. And um, we'll also continue with the Golden Burger, though. So we'll keep these trinkets, and that way we should get double the experience. And just do a ton of killing and looting and stuff like that. We got... Four Omega Pugs left here. We'll just chuck those in the system. I don't think you can... Con yeah, there's no way you can convert these back. But uh, we'll have those up our sleeve if uh, we get to the point of making another um, prismatic weapon at some point. Alright, so yeah, we'll uh, combine these. Um, we'll just go with a random vault. And I'll get all my vault gear together again oh i don't think we checked out the loot did we did we check out the loot yeah we did <laughs> i'm so excited from completing the artifact um the artifact wall it's completely blown my mind let's just flush that stuff through into the system um should get quite a lot of gold from that we pretty much did two dragon rooms there so I'm not sure exactly. That'll probably be about, be about 150 gold, something like that. Maybe even 200, um, which will bring us up to around the 2,000 mark there. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get my uh, vault gear together, guys, and we're going to jump on in to this next vault and see how we go. Okay, let's jump into the vault, guys, and hopefully we will get enough experience here to get us to a level 100 max level here in Vault Hunters 3, let's go! Okay, it is an Elixir Vault. Um, so yeah, we're not going to be completing the objective there because I do want to get those sweet, sweet embers cashed in so we can spend those. Uh, and get some cool transmogs. But, uh, yeah, let's head on through. Because we are going to have to get as much experience as we can. Uh, I think we've got about 15% of the way to go to get to level 100 here. So, yeah. Uh, we will probably be able to get there in this vault if we do a lot of looting and killing of mobs and stuff like that. Um, let's just go through here. Can we get... An Omega room or two. That would be fantastic. A puzzle room would be kind of fun, actually, if we could get one of those. But uh, let's keep going here. Maybe we'll just kill a bunch of mobs, like tons of mobs. It's probably the way to go. Let's grab that. What do we got upstairs? Just spawn these guys in. Let's 
Spawn these guys in. It'd be good if the um, spawners fired off a little bit quicker. <laughs> you always have to wait around for them to spawn the second time. Wouldn't mind a nice juicy dungeon as well if we could find one of those. It'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's go loot this. Oh, you guys didn't even spawn yet. Come on. Alright, we will continue heading uh, west. There is always the option of burgering our way to 100, but I didn't want to go that sort of way. Feels more legit to get there by getting experience in the vaults. I mean, it's perfectly legit to, uh, to eat burgers as well, but I don't know. It's just me, I guess. Is this an ore room? What is... Oh, that was ter that was terrible. <laughs> I don't know how I messed those dashes up. Like, why don't they go off properly? It might probably like because I'm jumping at the same time and I don't quite time to jump correctly or something like that. What would be good is to find a crystal caverns room or um, even a wild west room where there's like tons of mobs for us to murder for the experience. Spawn everything in. Oh, I'm stuck. Got stuck on their barbecue table or whatever that thing is. Oh, there's a dungeon over here as well. Pretty cool. We'll check that dungeon out in a second. Normal difficulty. Man, they really do melt once you use the um, taunt debuff on them. Pretty cool. Oh, 
What about, what about you, though? <laughs> We have an archive in here, which is nice. Come over here. <laughs> I think there's still some, a couple of them alive. They got stuck with the pathfinding or something. Let's see what this archive has got for me. Durability for the sword. Durability for a wand and attack damage for the for the sword. We'll take that. I don't know how many um of those archives I've got left to unlock. I think I've got quite a few of them left, actually. Let's see what was in here. I didn't loot this room, did I? Just loot it real quick here. What have we got in here? Oh, this is the top of this area. They've done such a great job of these dungeons. Like, considering they had to squeeze them into normal vault rooms, it's pretty crazy. Okay, let's keep going this way. 20 minutes left. I haven't even been paying attention to the elixir thing. <laughs> Not sure what gives a lot of elixir in this one. Obviously not coins. Um, yeah, but obviously we're not going to bother with uh, completing the objective on this one. So we can get those sweet, sweet em um, embers. Is this an ore room? I don't know what this is. Back here. It is an ore room. Okay. Okay, ore is pretty good though. Regen on top of my regen. Die. Pretty good. Pretty good. Or is always a pretty solid way to get experience. Oh, perfect. This is definitely going to give us a lot of experience in here. These can get pretty dangerous, though. We've got to be a little bit cautious. Okay, those guys give a fair bit of uh, elixir, actually. Uh, what do we got left here? There's usually 
Hey, uh, yeah, tunnel underneath here as well. We got a champion there. Man, I'm doing some damage here. I am liking that torn. It's actually very effective. It's another champion. Holy cow, that's another guy. Sweet. They die far too quickly to do any real damage to me so far. Okay, we have hit the edge. Can we find an Omega room? That is the question. Wooden POI. Let's go spawn these guys in down here. Poison Nova is definitely the most effective skill for massive groups like that. Oi! Get out of it! Wouldn't mind getting a few more mod boxes, actually. Okay, let's keep moving. 14 minutes left. At least we don't have to stress about um completing the objective. Still one of them stuck up there. direction were we heading in? I can't even remember at this point. Some of these POIs look super fancy but they've got hardly any uh, actual loot. Oh we got a wild west as well. This might be fun. Let's just spawn everything in. Hello, knock knock. Uh oh. I might have triggered some <laughs> I might have triggered some TNT there by mistake.
Okay, we'll go around and pick up as many gilded's as we can uh, get our greedy little hands on. There's still going to be some spawns happening here. <laughs> Blows up all the chests. Not that we really need this loot. Okay, what do we get up top here? There is usually a bunch of chests up in here. Let's get these ones. Hey! Spider. There's one super aggressive spider right there. What the heck, man? Okay, let's move on. Um, we're heading in this direction. Ten minutes left. Can we find an Omega before we're done here? This is the question. All of that and I've not even got half the elixir I would have needed. Probably, it's probably like, oh, this is probably the big thing. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to it. What is this? Just an ordinary common room. Definitely chugging through the potions today. Usually we find a couple of X marks, but so far we haven't found any in this one. Coins down there. Were coins any good? Mm. Coins don't give any. Interesting. Probably something super niche. Like only living chest to the it's what you need for the for the uh elixir. I mean definitely mobs give a fair fairly good chunk.
there was like three POIs in that entire room. That's not the greatest. Six and a half minutes left on the vault clock. Wouldn't mind finding a puzzle room, actually. Lucky hit chance. Just going to rush through and see if we can find an Omega room. Can't believe I've gone all this time in this playthrough and I've only found a single dig site the whole time. Just shows how rare they are. The loot in them isn't even that great. Like, it is good, but it's not mind-bendingly fantastic. Like, you'd probably get better loot from an impossible dungeon. Tempted to go down there and spawn in some mobs, but I don't know. I just want to find an Omega room. <laughs> so something a little bit out of the ordinary here. Come on. We're getting further and further away from the portal as well, which we do have to go back through at some point. All right, we have to turn around now. Okay, we'll just make our way back towards the portal and see if we find anything exciting. Suppose I could look for some dungeons. Is this is this an aura? No. We've only got three minutes left an hour anyway. So it's kind of limiting. I don't think we're that far away from the portal. A quick look down here. Also an all room, I think. Or is very good for XP.
Um, all right, let's uh, get out of here. A minute 47 left. We'd better find that portal. See what's what. Let's have a quick look down here. I can't help it. I want to see if there's a dungeon here. I don't think there is. Item rarity. Forty seconds left. Did we get enough XP? This is the question to get to level 100. Oh wait, wait a second, what the, where is the, I'm following the compass here, but I thought, it, I thought we were going straight to the portal, but apparently not. Oh, we've got a painting room, really? So you eat a couple of these, actually we won't, we won't eat both of those. We'll eat some of these if we need to. Okay, there's a lot of ore buckets in this one. I do put these annoyingly high up. <laughs> well, I, well, I was asking for an Omega room and we got one, so can't complain about that. It's pretty sweet. Those, we do still have to find our way back to the uh, portal, however. It might actually be on the other side of this right here. Um, I would almost guarantee that is where it is actually. So we are very, very close. I don't have much health left for fruit though. I think it's going to be around this way. Here we are. Let's not waste too many more lemons. Woo, we made it. Will we get to level 100 guys? Let's see. There it is, 159,000 experience. And, oh no, what? 
It looked like it was maxed out, but it's not. Oh my goodness. We just needed a tiny little bit more experience to get to 100. Huh. That was pretty close there. How do I check the experience? My my exact experience numbers here. So we've got we've got to get we're on a hundred we're we're on one million um Ninety eight thousand and we need one million eleven thousand. So about one ten to ninety eight. Two two thousand experience? Am I am I calculating that correctly? <laughs> Maths is not my strong suit, okay? Very very, very close, guys. Very close indeed to level 100, but not quite there yet. <laughs> Damn. Well, we did, uh, however, get a lot of embers here, which is awesome. Looks like we've got about 300-ish embers to spend on some of those sweet transmogs. And we got our soul plaque as well. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's find a place for this. We'll put it up there. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's got my face on it. 41 volts completed without failing. Nice. To be fair, that last vault was pretty hard and it wasn't even an ascension vault. But um, I probably could have... You know, if I was paying attention to what was uh, giving the, the elixir and stuff, I probably could have completed that one. Anyway, let's just junk identify this stuff. Chuck this in here. And we'll take a quick peek at the loot that we got. I'm not expecting great things here, but uh, let's have a look. What did we get? We got three mod boxes. Um, some, some junk here that we'll get rid of. Um... Put that stuff away. We'll put that stuff away. And what else did we get here? A fair bit of vault bronze, actually. That's pretty nice. Um, quite a few gems. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, pretty solid. Um, let's just put this stuff in here. And I'm just going to trash those... Uh, Relic fragments and booster packs, but we will check out the um, the mod boxes here. Let's see what we get out of these. There's an overgrowth seed. I'm not sure what those things are. And we got a 4K storage cell. Um, speed upgrades. These might be for mechanism or something. I'm not really sure. Oh, let's put the rest of these focuses and things away. And we will dismantle that. Let's put that stuff in there. Put our overgrowth seed down with the Batania stuff. We've got two of those now. Groovy and unstackable loot. Let's take a look here. So, did we get anything super sensational? I think that's probably going to be the only backpack with stuff left in it. Let's just identify this. All right. At this point, I'm kind of holding out for level 100 so that we can get the max level vault gear, but that's a uh, interesting wand there with a the legendary. There's uh, an Omega wand. Pretty nice. And did we get any good jewels here? Let's just have a very quick look through here to see 
if there's anything sensational. Those reaches aren't too bad. None of those trap disarms are that great. Let's have a look through the rest of these. That's pretty good copiously, actually. Ooh. Legendary item rarity with vanilla immortality. What else have we got here? 23, I guess that's worth holding on to. Uh, copiously, yeah, uh, we'll keep that. Coin affinity, item rarity. Some of these are sort of all right. That's pretty juicy right there. Um, and that's about it. So there's a few keepers in there. Nice. And a level 99 uh, wand as well. I'll just recycle the rest of that stuff, but we'll, we'll stick this in here with... Let's take one of those out of there. But yeah, probably, uh, guys, what we'll do is in the next episode, what we're going to be looking at doing is uh, we are going to be looking at one uh, final push to level 100. And uh, that's, we'll probably just jump in a vault super quickly, um, do a couple of POIs and jump out. Oh, you know what we could do, actually? Come to think of it. What am I talking about? <laughs> Let's just eat a burger or two, all right? Yeah. I've got some... Um, some of those mega burgers in here as well. Spicy hearty burgers. Like, let's just eat a couple of these. We just literally needed one to get to level 100. <laughs> uh, so now if we grab our seal of the herald out of here and grab a fresh level 100 crystal, let's take a look at this. Yeah. We can totally craft the final boss vault, the Herald, the Herald vault crystal. That's huge. <laughs> that is so huge. Nice. So I, I guess you guys, uh, I guess you guys can figure out what we're going to be doing in the next episode for sure. But um, we're also going to be spending our embers. At the start of the next episode, checking out the uh, various titles we can buy for ourselves and transmogs and stuff like that. I don't know if I've got enough embers to buy every single thing, but uh, we should be able to buy most of the really good stuff anyway. Um, but also, now we're at level 100. That means that we can actually do the Herald boss fight. But before we do that, I kind of want to get some level 100 gear going, um, particularly a sword, um, armor, that sort of stuff, right? Um, so what we might do in the next episode is we might run the Paradox Vault and focus on hitting all of the blacksmith rooms to get the vault gear that we need. And on top of that, if we still don't get everything that we want in level 100, I might actually craft up some vault gear as well until we've got a really really good setup and build i might need to tweak some skills and stuff like that too um and we also have uh our final expertise to spend and stuff too so i want to get a really good build going for the uh the herald fight uh because yep we are going to be fighting the herald in the next episode it's going to be awesome guys i uh, hope you're looking forward to it and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching